Let's take a peek behind the scenes of my Ziegfeld Follies inspired fashion shoot using Canon's brand new mirrorless camera, the Canon EOS R5. I'm fashion photographer and Canon Explorer of Light, Lindsay Adler, and my goal as a photographer is to create memorable, show-stopping imagery. In fact, today, I often think of it as scroll-stopping imagery, especially in a world where we're so constantly vying for people's attention. I aim to use delicious light and rich color, beautiful costuming, stunning hair and makeup, anything to invite the viewer to pause and take the image in just a little bit longer. I've recently become enamored with the visuals of the Ziegfeld Follies and vintage glamour. Now these Follies, they were a mix of Broadway, a little bit of vaudeville, and they had a lavish, luxurious flair. They had extravagant sets, amazing costuming, and it was a mix of timeless elegance, stagecraft, and creativity. If you look at the performances or beautiful images of them captured in the early 1900s, and I've saved those visuals over and over and over again as inspiration. In my portfolio, you'll see that I love taking inspiration from the past, but then adding a modern twist. And that twist could be in the form of lighting or styling updates or the makeup. And I've often found that when you root your imagery with elements of the past, this increases the longevity of that imagery. It makes it more timeless. By drawing on familiar concepts, but adding your own unique interpretation, this makes the imagery both relatable and excitingly new. For this shoot, I teamed up with an incredible stylist and costume designer, Donna Hood of Tease Productions. Her elegant pieces would serve as the foundation of inspiration. Each model would end up being a character. I would analyze that character and try to determine how my lighting could tell a story or how I could create more compelling mood in the photograph. For this shoot, I used the Canon EOS R5 and two Canon RF lenses, the Canon RF 85 f1.2 and the Canon RF 24 to 105 f4. The 85 was perfect for my tight, intimate shots with narrow depth of field, and the 24 to 105 was ideal for my wider shots when I wanted to capture drama and extravagant costuming. This was the very first time I had picked up the Canon EOS R5, and it was amazing how natural, comfortable, and really effortless it was to use. This camera gives me all the controls and familiarity I have in the 5D line, but with the benefits of mirrorless, beautiful RF lenses, and fantastic new capabilities. One of my goals for the shoot was to create beautiful fine art prints. And thankfully the R5 is a 45 megapixel camera. So this gave me a ton of detail to print as large as I want or to crop in for more creative control. During this nonstop shoot day, I was able to capture 10 different looks and 1500 images. The batteries introduced with the R5, they're improved high capacity batteries. So I only changed my battery once during the entire day. Now you can still use your old LPE6 batteries, the ones that work with the 5D and the EOS R, the same form factor, but these new ones, they last a lot longer. When creating these images, I often selected wide apertures. I wanted to soften the background, bring more attention to the intricate details of the makeup and the costuming. And one of the fantastic capabilities of the R5 is that focusing with a narrow depth of field has never been more effortless. It's never been more precise. I can confidently shoot with my primes wide open and know that I'm going to nail the focus. I used the R5's face tracking and eye detection autofocus so that I would always be locking focus on the eye closest to camera. So even when my subject was moving rapidly side to side, the eye tracking, I had no problem keeping up. The camera was doing all of the work for me. What this does is it allows me to take shots with movement and razor thin, narrow depth of field, shots that I really wouldn't have felt confident to create in the past. Furthermore, I don't have to worry about my subject being too far to the edge of the frame or having to grab focus and recompose. The R5 has 100% autofocus coverage, top to bottom, left to right, all of the frame. So in some of my shots, I had the subject twirl, dance around, move across the scene, and the more than 1,000 autofocus points were able to track her no matter where she moved. For most of the costumes, I would begin with a more traditional approach, maybe on canvas, shooting in black and white, really trying to go with this vintage Follies aesthetic. But from there, I would experiment. I would try to modernize the shoots by using harder light, gels, haze, drama. And in the end, I achieved a mix of timeless, elegant shots, but also created bold imagery with a modern, modern twist to it. But all of it had that vintage flair. What's great is that even though this is my very first shoot with the Canon EOS R5, I didn't have to think about it. There was no learning curve. It became an extension of myself and 
I really only thought about the camera when I realized it was making my life easier. It allowed me to focus on what's important, creating show-stopping imagery that stands apart from the crowd. Wow, wow, wow.